What's up, everybody? Hello, and welcome to Total War Pharaoh. I want to take a little bit of a break from Vicky and try out another strategy game. Um, and I love the Total War franchise. It's a mainstay of my, my rotation of games I play. I played probably every Total War since Medieval Total War 2. Um, Medieval 2 Total War, I think is... No. Whatever. Medieval 2 was, the, was, the, was the, like my first Total War game. And I played every one since, except maybe some of the... the um, the Empires and Napoleon-esque Total Wars. I haven't tried those out, but I have played everything else. So with this new one entering the franchise, I want to try it out. I know it's had some bad reviews, but I've been enjoying it so far. I did a, a, a test game as Torset, um, and that, that went pretty well. So I think I want to do a series here, which I'm going to do. Um, so if you're unaware, we have the Egypt Egyptians. Um, you become, you know, you got Ramses, Seti, Torset, and Aminmis. I'm in mess. I'm in blah, blah, blah. blah. There's this dude. <laughs> Names are hard to pronounce. Um, but then you have the Canaanites with Ursu and Bay here. These guys are in kind of the middle region. Then you have the Hittites in the north here with Zipaluliuma and Karuntu. Karunta, the usurper. And they have like their whole little civil war. But this campaign, I'm going to play as the Egyptians. I think I'm not going to do Ramses. Um... We're gonna focus on being far in the south with the Minmus here, because I love the um I love his kind of look and feel there. So we'll play as, I will reclaim my birthright. We'll play as the Minmus. He has a uh, Nubian and Kushite units with have which seem to have a high em emphasis on their bowmen. Which sounds cool. I like that idea. Um, we have two skins. We can do the, the normal guy or we can do the Avatar of the Gods, which makes him look all tribal, I guess. Um more so than this, I guess. <laughs> but we'll go with the normal, just for the first campaign. Maybe we'll do the Avatar of the Gods campaign later. Um, but for now, we'll do this. So he's the Viceroy of Kush. Far from honored by his title as Viceroy of Kush, Aminmus stews in bitterness um, over his perceived exile from Egyptian court. The magician, however, affords him the golden resources of Nubia, presenting a steady supply of, rich, of riches from the numerous gold mines common in the region. Um, we'll play on just the default campaign here. Nothing too crazy. Um, we have a bunch of faction units for Kushites. So these are technically not Egyptian, but these can be cool. Armored archers. I emphasis on bows. I like bows. I want I want good ranged options. That's like my preferred way of playing Total War is having like a solid infantry line to kind of hold the enemy in place and then just bows to rain down from afar, um, which is what we'll be doing. So... Our faction, strengths, and weaknesses. You have more gold from mines, so you can turn gold into legitimacy, but you have unique buildings that lower influence. Okay, you have the strongest archers, good defensive infantry, but you kind of suck at charging, which is fine. That fits with my playstyle. Um, you gain legitimacy through gold mines, you reduce gold costs of units and buildings, buying core positions of gold, and you start as the Viceroy of Kush. Cool, we worship Amun. Um... Advice for your faction. People step lightly, speak freely, and secretly smile themselves. The wind is soft on their skin. You can, as a minimus, you can strike shrines for all Egyptian gods more easily. Shrines of Amun grant more experience per turn to units in their regions. Use them to train your armies without fighting. Okay. So he's focused on getting his armies up. You start with a single outpost, a shrine of Amun in Kerma. Uh, newbie units are cheap and decent to hold in the defensive line. Use them to protect high value units that need to stay away from melee. Yeah, so strong bows and weak front line is all we start with. Start with medium shield and axe to break through the ranks of well-armored units. Okay. Cool. As members choose the ancient legacy, Khufu the Builder. Used to build great wonders in Upper and Lower Egypt. Okay, so we'll go for Khufu. We'll just kind of follow the, the defaults here for our first campaign. We won't break out too much. For our faction buildings, we have the Kushite Delegate School. Gives you extra workforce, production, and diplomatic relations with non-Egyptian. Okay, so everything we have kind of costs um, influence and gold. Which is cool. But we're here in the south. We'll take it on. Let's go. I would really love to know the symbolism of this cutscene with what's going to happen here. So if anyone knows in the comments, let me know.
I am Menepta. No, I am the great Pharaoh Menepta. Ten years ago, I inherited the throne in the shadow of my father. The strong bull, the protector of Egypt, the chosen of Ra and beloved of Amun, the mighty pharaoh, Ramses the second. This is the part I'm looking for the symbolism for. What does it mean? Egypt has flourished throughout my reign, but now I sense the eyes of Set upon me, and dark times are coming. will happen to my kingdom after my soul slips into the eternal lands of the afterlife. Okay, let's read this little blurb. A lesser son I am I, and my mother, a lesser wife, and her peoples my peoples, Nubian blood, are we any less Egyptian for it? So be it. Me and them understand each other perfectly with but a single word, gold. Blood betrays, blood is tarnished, gold is gold. It is with gold that I will remake the world in my likeness, with set awaits. There will be, there will, will be gold on my warrior's brows, on the wheels of my chariot, and on the blade of my axe. Everyone will see me coming, no one will stop me. The Viceroy of Kush takes care of Nubian, and Kushite territories. He makes sure their minds sustain the wealth of Egypt and keeps the unruly warriors under the pharaoh's heel. It is a proud and distinguished title bestowed upon worthy men. My son Amen Mess disagrees. I granted him dominion over our lands to the south, full of riches and free for him to barter with or conquer. Yet all I receive in return is bitterness and resentment. The more his wealth and influence grows, the more dangerous he becomes. Amin Mess has no love for his brother Seti and his wife Tauzret. He could stake his claim as a prince of Egypt by challenging his brother for the throne. Perhaps it was a mistake to send him so far from my oversight. Or perhaps his fortune is a message from great Amun. Could it be that one day this gold-kissed son of Egypt is destined to trade the title of Viceroy for the divine role of Pharaoh? Okay. So we've already covered most of our strengths and weaknesses here, so we will just kind of move on. Son of Anepta and Viceroy of Kush. So, let's kind of look. We are tucked away in the south. We have these... People will rejoice is this a, is this a full place we own to start with? No, we have... Uh, Hapshish is not colonized. It is a ruin. 
We need to claim that, but we also have the start of Kerma over here. And we're at war with the Nuab and Musha. Okay, so we rolled this region here, and then we could look towards our south here and maybe turtle up and take a, like a line expanding north. I like our starting position as far as like keeping ourselves safe. There's a gold mine here that's been looted. What I'm immediately going to do here is I'm going to recruit a general to go and basically settle that place. I'll pay um, my part in gold. This general will be a defensive general for us. He'll be basically doing nothing be. but defending our, our lands, which is fine. As far as our tech for the start, I would like to go and start things off getting our um, happiness up. Well, maybe let's do, let's do XP. Well, uh, no. Happiness. Happiness first. Okay. Um, let's see what our starting cities look like. So we start with a decent place for doing our recruitment. Um, we probably want to specialize this region into being our recruiting center so we can build up our armies. Um, with that being said, over here you can unlock this building, which does... Let's actually just look at these wholeheartedly. So, I did not mean to do that. Stop. So this gets us recruitment of Kushite Spears. Nubian Spearmen and Sword and Shield infantry, and then, okay. So these are... So what's the difference between this? Nubian Clubmen, Kushite Spearmen, Nubian Longbowmen, Kushite Archers. So we all have bows. We don't have Slingers, which is nice. I prefer Bowmen. Two-handed Spear. Do, are these Pikes? These are not Pikes. They're just Spearmen. Interesting. And then we have our Kopesh units. And then we have our targets. How long can Archer Militia. Last? Nubian Mercenary, Nubian Slingers. So we do have Slingers. And we have Archery Range. Then over here we have our Chariots. I do like my Chariots. Okay. Monument of Greatness. Interesting. So this place starts with just kind of some administration stuff and not too much in the way of resource production. I say as we don't have a Temple of the Moon. Um, hmm. I don't think we need a City Guard compound. Let's start with the Recruitment Hall as our first building here. In fact, let's construct it instantly just to reduce our recruitment costs. We'll actually, I think, even upgrade it. Well, where's this Foreign Visitors? So this gives us Production. My this is not a production-centered city, so we might actually drop this. I like the workforce growth, but this is not going to be our production city. This is going to be mostly a military production area. In fact, to that effect, if I go over here... I guess you can do guard towers here. But I think we just want to focus on the gold market, right? And these things, and hidden rooms, yeah. And it costs us this gold. Oh, look at this, though. So double gold production could be... Oh, wow, these are all gold buildings. And these give us other types of material. That's very interesting. Very interesting. And they cost influence, though. So that costs... Okay, I'm going to think more about that. But for now, we'll keep this in its current situation, the way it's set up. Um... Let's jump back to Pair Ramses. I'm kind of plotting out my production. City planning is going to be a big part of the early game here, is picking out what you want to upgrade and when. I like the idea of getting better longbowmen and just starting with a stronger army. So let's go to our upgraded army there. And where is our general? He starts here. That'll be our first fight. I, will take what is I haven't touched Karma. By any means. But likewise, they, they look like they have a archer range here. Camera's going to be a good a good production focus area for us, right? Because you have a bunch of food regions. You have our stone region and our, and our bronze smelting region. So that will be huge for us. Um, this will be probably our, our military building and some gold. So we'll need to pin that because that'll be like the, uh, the money and that'll be the stronghold. Which is nice because it's the farther of the north of the two. Then if we go down south over here, this will be another good food-producing region. So 
All good, all good, all good. Let's go ahead and start our first battle. We will fight this one in person. Okay. Let's get in there. We'll fight in the dry weather. It's a big dune we're on. Let's take a look at what we got. So, we have a Minmus. Let's take a look at him. He is right here. You can see him in the front. He is Action Shield. He's a commander. Good battle. Okay. We have our stance for advance. Set formation. Okay. He's, he's our Action Shield. Mostly we're going to want to maraud and... Uh, Pull people in place while our archers just kind of deal with them. Because we have our Kushite archers. 150 range, 29 missile damage, and 24 ammunition. Alright, so what we're going to do here is we will consolidate our front line. Kind of build these out. We'll have our spearmen out to the side screen. One of them to respond to anything here. And then we'll drop our bowmen. Kind of throughout the the line here, and I want our guy in the middle here. Let's here's what we do. We want to do that in a very specific order. Do it like that. March them up and start our battle. Okay, let's get to the top of the dune. It will be done. There is our enemy. Okay, let's take a look at what he's sporting here. We use Kushet Archers too. Their range is 150. What's our range? It's also 150. Okay. So none of our guys... Actually, you can... you can. Okay, that's Brace. That's not para, Parry Arrows. Blot out the sun. Oh, they have abilities for these archers. That's interesting. Did not realize our archers had abilities here. These guys can raid. Okay. Okay. So first things first. Do any of these guys have snipe? They don't have snipe. I want to go and start knocking out their archers. Let's take the other guys and slowly march them forward. Taking what's mine. These men are not our brothers. Right here. A little bit outside of arrow range, that way our armies can kind of square off here. So shall it be. To battle! Back come over here. Symbol on the side. We'll group the other guys. Retribution! Kind of just circle you around here. I want to be really good in these early fights because we need to take advantage of our our army here. Marching! Blues arrows! Okay, fall back. On what? On the move! Into position! Pushing on! Marching! Okay, these are all spear and shield, right? Archers, shoot! This is where I wish I had a chariot. The chariots could probably just decimate these guys. On the move! Alright, pull the archers back. I think we start getting into the fray here. I do like the music. Makes me feel, feel it reminds me of um playing as the GLA in Command and Conquer Generals. Which is a very <laughs> obscure reference for anyone who's not a huge strategy guy. Okay, let's go ahead and turn off skirmish mode here. Sometimes it's more hindrance than help. 
This little guy is going to get shattered. Don't know why these guys just kind of marched their death here. All right, here comes the other guys. We've now engaged the combat, so they're now going to actually fight us. All right, let's put guard mode on our archers here. I don't want them marching into their death. So these all have spear and shield. Sword and shield. Let's go ahead and hit. The might of Nubia. Fire. All right, let's get in the Break combat this. here. Flanking route. Flanking route. With me. You target the archers here. You target the archers Please. here. And we'll have you just kind of hit the sword and shield. Marching. Don't save us for glory. I want you to hit the archers. Nubia. And I want you. Actually, you're in a better spot. Hit the archers here. Fighters of Nubia. Right, come in and hit them in the flank. Warm up right here. To victory. And hit these guys in the flank. To them. Aim and release. All well so far. Victory. Fighters of Nubia. Okay, let's just all hit the Kushite Spears here. Okay, let's get these guys up over here. I don't, I don't want to take too much um, friendly fire here, which I feel like is what, a lot of what we're going to be getting. Okay, pull back our guy here. Have him run right to the rear. Let's form up before we do this, though. Okay, let's not walk our archers into fight here. Okay, now we'll just charge into the rears. And they are surrounded. Fight hard. Aim for their hearts. Into position. Pushing on. We use one of our archers just to run down that playing infantry. Getting it done. Okay, they are surrounded. Victory is not in doubt. Fighters of Nubia. The might of Nubia. We are losing some health on our guys here. Release. We'll see how these arrows hit, and then depending on how it, they're mostly accurate. I say mostly, but. Do you dare test yourself? Okay, there's enough. Only by command. All right, cool. We can run them all down. Go normal speed here and let these guys just get ran over. We want to try to get as many captives here as possible because we can use it to get our... replenish our losses and keep our momentum here, which is going to be important for us. So we'll just kind of let this go on speed three while we run down the last of their Kushites. Should all be handled. I don't like how the uh, music stops entirely whenever you're doing this, but it'll be worth it. Okay, how many are left? 18 and 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. They're gone. And they are gone as well. Nice. I don't like it saying close victory. I think we were fine. Beat them to the... <laughs> Is okay, so we can either get... We don't really need... Let's take the, the replenishment just to keep our Put momentum here. I will take what is owed to me we can actually reach Nuaba right now, which we should do. Royal Prince. Taste my golden blade. Now we're going to fight this, of course. So he has a composite bowman. What's the range there? Range 190. That's kind of really long. So we're going to want to make get in there and close the gap between these guys. They also have an archer with axes. Um, we will deploy in our current one. Okay, so they have one 
Here's the armors. Okay, we'll deploy over here and just kind of get in there as fast as possible. Lead with our shield guys. Follow up with these guys behind. Keep our axemen in there. And we'll have our general in the front. Fight with honor! No, they cannot escape us! Oh, I actually pulled this guy around. Whatever, this works. Okay. We're going to want to just kind of hit the... Uh, where's the armored bowman? Newbie and there's Kushite. What's the difference? 150, 150. Okay. Two on this guy, one on this guy. Vengeance and victory! What does this guy have? Excellent missile range. This melee is kind of meh. Which is ex as expected. Get our clubman in there. Okay, two of these guys I want to hit that guy with, and I want to take another one. Actually, have you like around have that guy go in there. Exchange missile fire, but I think we'll come out ahead on this one because we're going to use two for one here. Power and pride. Fire. Never falter. So what do they bring with us? They have javelin. Missile range on this guy is kind of crazy with those composite bows. Alright, there go their archers. I want you to kind of flick around here. I'll be able to do this in a smart way where I don't have to fight this guy. I can just missile attack him down. Okay, let's get our general to go and fight over there. Let's have one guy run up here and the other two block this guy. Chase that guy down. Move our archers up. We just kind of want to hit this guy with that. Come on, get in there. Fighters of Nubia. Power and pride. Onwards. Marching. This will be handled. I'm going to just run over here and take this. Fighters of Nubia! Face me, coward! Fear us! Into position! Go, brothers! At their defenses! Not a step backwards! Fighters of Nubia! Alright, we'll just kind of hammer them in the back with Aim our archers here. I hope you've made arrangements for your two. You should have never opened your mouth. Marching! Go and just capture this. There we go. They've been in melee. They're going to go down now. And these guys are getting hit in the rear. What was the button to hide the UI here? There we go. It's K. Okay. 
cool. Go and see what a, a Minmus is doing. Where's our guy? Well, there's their dude. There's our guy. Little little knee. Alright. There's victory. Let's go ahead and stop the battle. And all good on our side. Decisive victory. Another step closer to my goals. Okay, we're just gonna occupy. This is ours by conquest. We got the uh, new Abu Kerma as our sacred land. And that's going to be the end I of this turn for us. We have two levels here. By any means. So let's see. Shoot while moving. Ooh, that's pretty sick, though. I like that. Resistant to heat to newbie and units. Missile retreat can shoot while moving. It's kind of really strong. Strong vigor to Kushite warriors. Okay. Composite bowmen. Research from ransoming. Movement at sea. Replenishment and speed. Speed's a really underrated thing here. Looks like we're going to be putting a lot of stats into presence here. Um, rating stance. Armor and replenishment. But you lose gold income from generals. Interesting. More influence, but you lose 50 gold income. Less food upkeep. That's actually really sick there, is the food upkeep. Okay, so if you have a lot of gold income, you could have... Well, never mind. It's bronze upkeep and food upkeep, so it's not exactly breaking even. Ambush stance. Siege. Recruitment cost and upkeep. So all these costs kind of gold. Then you have Overseer of Gold, which is influence faction-wide. Gold income faction-wide is pretty sick. So we want to kind of get everything up to level 9. Um, but for now, let's focus on getting our presence up to unlock this title. I think shoot while moving is going to be really strong for us. I also want to kind of balance our replenishment movements. So let's get good replenishment going. Um, the top line, it gives you upkeep and influence. The next line over gives you replenishment and melee defense. And this one over here gets charge bonus and movement speed. So movement, replenishment, upkeep. And so let's go ahead and grab that. I think that's safe to get. We get Abu. Let's get some recruitment now. Um, we have faction units and native units. Nubian mercenaries. Let's compare those. We have Kushite archers. Compare that to Nubian. So missile damage. These do more damage to our missiles. But they also cost a ton. These have great range, though. Wow, that range is kind of wild. We could outrange their archers here. These actually have more range than even bowmen. I kind of just want to grab them. Okay. We'll grab two of these. I spend my gold wisely. And that'll probably make up our archer backline. We'll grab two of these. We'll have five archers. And then we'll leave space for more stuff. That's going to kind of max us out for a little bit here. Um, what do you want to do in terms of buildings? Okay. Sorry, I had a phone call. Had to take that real quick. Okay. This is mainly going to be a production-focused section here. Um, that being said, we're going to need to get our base production buildings up fast in some of these places. So this has a bunch of food. Um, so let's do Uabku. We'll upgrade this one because it's farther back and more safe from raiding. Assuming we don't go to war with Kawa over here. What do we want to do here? Hmm. In terms of management, you can get happiness places. We are losing some happiness, but that's mainly towards some other stuff. Improvement cost is not what I want to get here. Let's 
Construction time, construction cost, moving on land. Okay, so. Bronze, gold, and food. And you have its own resource buildings. Let's make this a food place, I think, is going to be what we're going to do. We'll do the, uh... Do we? Summer festival grounds are actually pretty nice. Food, this province, and happiness. Compare that to, like... Though we do like the production of resources. So I want to kind of do this one and then get us something to counter that influence loss. So let's go and grab the thing that gives us influence eventually. Let's get the news, news crier stand. That should be good for now. Um, can I build anything in these other provinces? No, we're out of workforce there. Over here we can, though. Not really. We'll be doing the gold mining for sure. Legitimacy is nice. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to think about how to balance the gold spending and the uh, other stuff. All right, let's look at what we get for this dude. Get him his composite bow. Makes him into a archery unit, which is fine. I like that for our defensive guys, having him be an archer. And with that, we can end our first turn. All right, I had to get my camera settings right. That way, uh, the uh, neutral factions don't show up and I can actually watch what my enemies do. All right, so we have a new being mercenaries. We're losing a little bit of food. That's fine. We'll get more than we lose based off of our, our rating. We're going to send this guy over here. He will be in charge. Can I actually do this in March dance? No, I can't. But we're going to rebuild that settlement, um, use it to help us build stuff up. Let's actually get... Let's get this now, I think. 35 gold. Yeah, let's get this now. What's the difference here? Gold mine labor village. Ah, huh, okay. So with, I'm gonna have to use all the gold that I'm getting here to do some diplomacy. In fact, we should take a look at our diplomatic setting. So, we have tar set up there. Our strength rank is two, so we start off really strong. We are trustworthy. Um, let's see if there's anyone I would like to get, like a peace treaty. With. Okay, that's Kerma. What about non-aggression packs? No one wants one right away. What about? Okay, we'll hold off from the diplomacy for now. Let's finish up our conquests. Worldly before we do any of that stuff. So we are going to go into the negative with our resource production a little bit. Um, it's not too bad. It's something we'll have to kind of deal with, but should be fine. Um, we'll be doing constant warring, so we'll make up the deficit that way. Likewise, I kind of... What's the highest tier here? Seti Longbowman, 240 range, and Kushite Armored Archers. These cost gold... What's the difference between here? So the longer guys have less ammo. But the armored ones... Yeah, they're just generally... better here. Fall back, blot out the sun, and aim true. Wow. So you can just ignore missile block here. Okay. That's all way for the future. I'm not going to be able to get most of the stuff. Also, we have our outposts. So let's look at some of our outposts here in this region. Um, I generally do want to get religious outposts. They do give you influence. These don't help with our happiness, though. Oh, as my... Oh, monument. Legitimacy here. Provides garrison, Egyptian lookout, and Egyptian fort. Interesting. Interesting. 
Hmm, okay. Let's start with Ubku over here. Let's go with the... We kind of don't care about the army. Let's... So this region... Legitimacy, and then there's your military one. Let's start... If, if I have a defensive army stationed here, where do I want the army stationed? Probably, like, in the Karma region, like, over here, to respond over here. Or, let's be honest, be in Ket Pet. Yeah, that's where I would I want to station in Ket Pet. I want an army over here, and then I want probably an army over in this region. So, we'll not build any defensive outposts for now. Let's just get, right next to the city, we'll get our economic outpost. Good. Which sounds nice. And that's about all we can do building-wise. Let's end our turn. Alright, our first episode is going to be an hour long, just because there is a bunch of intro stuff going on here. Um, but later episodes will not be an hour long. Probably about 45 minutes per episode is what I'm kind of planning to do. Um, is there any more resource buildings we can grab? Not really. I like how you do have, like, a recruitment office you can build. Huh. What do you, what do you provide? Nubian Longbowmen, Clubmen, and Kushite Spears. Interesting. But I can also do... An obelisk. And a stone carver's district. Hmm. Let's upgrade the settlement. Endless and let's wealth. take... Musha. March ahead. Should be easy here. Nubia is mine, always. Did I fuck up? I can't take it in one turn. Okay. Oh well. Mind by me. I'll prove myself worthy. And let's colonize. I rule here now. Oh, they're actually gonna come out and fight us. They don't have. We have better range than them on all our people, except for the. Well, the Kapaza Bowman even is outranged by, I think, our Nubian mercenaries. Yeah, they are. All right, we'll fight this. So they're going to have to attack me, meaning I can turtle. And it's a sandstorm that they're attacking me, so my archers are going to do less. Is certain. I can feel it. But less is not none. Um... Yeah, less is not none. Get Seti right in, or not Seti. I'm in miss. Seti's the dude to the north. Alright, we do want to take a fight. Oh, it's Amon Mess. Not a min miss. Amon Mess. Amon Mess. We do want to advance just because, you know, we don't want to kind of deal. Oh, the sandstorm will clear up as the time goes on, so we don't have to worry too much about some of this. We are getting kind of buffeted like crazy from this. The gods cloud our vision. Nubian marksmen. To victory. Let's kind of just march our army up a little bit here. We will stop at nothing. For victory. Yes, to glory. Curse these blasted sands. I agree, dude. Getting sand in your pants sucks. Okay, so most of the actual. Here's what we do. We're gonna take our armored spearmen here, our mercenaries. For glory! The might of Nubia! That's the militia. I did the wrong ones here. Aim true. Power and pride. Fall back. Pushing on. Never falter. Never falter. Into position. Behold the fury of the side. Okay. Fight hard. Fighters of Nubia. No quarter. 
Fighters won! Onwards! Die! Taking what's mine! Tear them apart! To battle! Um, hit that bowman, please. Aim for the heart! Hit this bowman. A moon guide! Who's this we're fighting? Who shades spears? Fighters of Nubia! On the move! Right, there goes their bowman. Take our spear. Let's make these guys in guard mode. And group them. never miss. Where's our mercenaries? Fight with honor. Archers shoot for glory. Aim for their heart. Release. Loose arrows. Kushite Militia, hit that guy. Kushite Militia, hit that guy. Aim for the hearts. Send it around. Fear us. The might of Nubia. Fear us. All right, we're going to need to send someone to deal with that guy. The true heir. I will not fail. Destroy them. Aim and release. That's the only guy holding that line, though, so we can't kind of get them up right now. We will try him. Okay, I want this guy to just kind of pull through here. Cut through Put pressure on the archers. Fight as one. I cannot see past this sand. It's kind of brutal, these archer-to-archer -archer fights, right? Because we don't have any cav or chariots to run people down and deal with the archers. We're just kind of trading fire here. Yeah, we are definitely coming out ahead here. Never falter. Just fire. Triumph is a short. Onwards to victory. Aim true. Okay, I want to send someone to chase Get down these Break their bowmen here. Fight with honor. Archer Should be shoot. army losses soon. Instead, he's getting absolutely hammered here by these arrows. Into position. We have no chance. Good. Okay. Archers. We're just gonna hit these. You hit that one. Release. Yeah, doing this in a sandstorm is a little troublesome because of how you take damage over time. Together, brothers. All right, let's end the battle now because I don't want to deal with the, uh, the sandstorm. Looks like we basically fully lost one of our recruits, but they can be replaced. They're they're cheap and disposable for a reason. We of course take the replenishment. The gods reward determination. Warrior All right, there Nubia. goes our guy. He did Death well. To my enemies. Let's upgrade this to our next level. And with this, I will take what is owed to let's me go and win. By any means. Okay, so the bowman is repaired. We're going to do the fight right away here. I don't want to lose our, our 10 unit here. I want them to actually replenish and get some uh, mastery. Yeah, that's fine. All right, keep our 10 guy over here. 
Everyone else can kind of take the fight. The sun can keep their dead. All right, so we have they have Kushet archers and some other things. They don't have a lot of range though. We can take our time here. The only one who really is a problem is going to be their bowman. But we have Nubian, Nubian guys who can outrange even him. The might of Nubia. So to that effect, we're going to take our archers and put them up in the front. Onward. We'll have our second ray of archers right behind him. And we'll have a screening force of these guys we on the friend. side. And we'll have Into position. our ruler on the left. With me. And this is where we're going to really show off our missile advantage whenever we're the ones who are progressing. Let get into place. The fiends have ambushed us. To battle. They have fall back stance, which is nice. Loose arrows. Aim for their hearts. We should outrange both of them here. Oh, we also have fire while moving. I forgot about that. Fighters of Nubia. On the move. We can do whatever we want here. Keep tight. Kushites never miss. The desert is in our blood. Yeah, we can just fall back and keep hurting them. Fight with honor. Marching. End and release. Nubian marksmen. We will triumph. Problem is we can't shoot behind us. So we can run and shoot, but we can't like uh Marching Pushing on Pushing on It is decided I always feel at home in the dunes Onwards Aim true Let's go ahead and just move these guys way over here Into to the position. flank. Same with you guys. Just come over here. Into just kind of... Oh, just, no, just kind of go over there. Into position. On the move. Fight with honor. On the move. Marching. To battle. Pushing on. Archers, shoot. Yeah, no reason to take fights here if we don't need to. Never falter for glory. Arrows ready. Get back quickly. Okay, Onward. that's not working the way I wanted it to. Send a barrage. Marching on the move. Don't just fall Marching. back, just run away. Pushing on! Onwards! Let's we'll keep running over here. Loose arrows! Aim for the heart! Into position! Into position! Fighters of Nubia! On the move! Take I mean, yeah, this is the this is the proper way to do this if you really want to maximize your your or minimize your casualties here. Kind of wear them down until they don't have any ranged units. Ideally, we would actually close with some of their archers here, but. The fire stall moving is going to be pretty sick here. Okay, I actually just want to kind of close with this dude. I'm tired of doing this. Also, you need to fall back. No reason to trade. Can you outrange him? Same with you. Here. On. on the move. How dare you challenge me? A poor decision, I'm a mess. Release. 
The sons can keep their dead. Aim for the heart. Aim to position. Power and pride. Move faster. Oh, skirmish Hold mode. It, it's, it's terrible. Your gold will be mine. You speak what I say, Nubian. Make it happen. Loose arrows! Together, brothers! Onwards! I grow weary! Onwards! Okay, they both have crossed the point where it's time to move over that way. I don't realize we're still fighting this guy here. I love killing Egyptians! I love killing Egyptians. <laughs> oh god, Total War, don't change. Use your use all your ammo before you engage those people. Called Blot Out the Sun, too. You think you can overpower me? An embarrassing display. Can they hit this guy? Now just run. On on. Draw him out of his city center. A pedimax denies us. There we go. Here's our victory. Yeah, I lost 39. Mostly to their archers. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. They posed no challenge. He's already dead. All right, we will occupy. This is ours by conquest. All right, so now we have two regions under our control. Let's go ahead and plan what we're going to use in both these regions. So, this region doesn't really have any gold produced, right? So I can go for... Hmm. For now, let's just go for the Royal Garden in both Vex. Right, just kind of generally help us. And boost our different provinces. Right, we conquered Kerma. It's a sacred land. We now can actually... I want to get the bronze furnace here right away. Just so I can deal with my, my negative bronze I was having. And can I build any of these outposts here? Not because I don't have the stone. I will fine. take what is owed to me by any means. So right now we have six archers and about eight frontline units there. I'd like to have some cav in here, honestly, but for now that's fine. We'll just kind of sit on this. Let's go ahead and bump us up to get the um, cheaper upkeep at level five there, and then we'll start looking at other things. I'd love to get this guy a mount of some kind. Driven by injustice. Okay, we'll sit in that settlement for the rest of this turn, and then uh, I think we'll call this one here. But for now, let's focus on what else we want to do around um, our faction. I kind of want to go for the 10% food bonus here, just because we're under our food capacity, Warrior which is mostly because Nubia. we have this guy recruited here. If we didn't have him, we'd be a lot better off with our food. Out of workforce minus one. Hmm, it'll just take time. Just take time to get this stuff settled out. So what I want to do is I want to look down here and deal with Kokawa. I want to kind of unite both these provinces here and then turn our, our way north. To that effect, let's kind of look and see how Kawa's doing. They're strength three twelve, uh, which is higher than us, technically. 
Um, they're unreliable, underhanded, rebellious, and aggressive. These guys are not the best Battle is my calling. people. What about over here? The all of these of guys are the same, so all of our starting lands are kind of angry people. Son of the sands. Okay. How much of these are like actually settled? A lot of these are just empty. Like this whole region is empty, so we can just kind of colonize it. Oh. Well, you don't say. So with that, we're actually going to march this guy all the way over to Musha. Let's go through our own lands, please. Don't go through theirs. Timing is everything. Yeah. Time is right. We're going to send this guy, and he's just going to try to colonize all these lands. Just to kind of unite our stuff down here. I didn't know all of this was just raised to the ground. That's cool. And then we'll march south and deal with Kawa. Yeah, should be fine. Okay. So here's our first ambition. These are little quests you can get and take. Um, I think we'll probably... What is this? Permanent punishment upkeep. Um, we have zero of those units. Veteran, Nubia, and Kush Auxiliary. True loyalty. We're not going to be doing a ton of recruitment. Let's just go and get the expansion for now. We'll come back to the local flare ones. Those will be good for us later, but for now I think it's just going to be a focus on our expansion. Um, what do we want for this province? Probably some happiness. Yeah, let's get some happiness going in this building here. So I don't need the military support. Or the guard towers, really. Nor these recruitment op 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 options. Probably will take bronze working, though. Whenever we get to level 3 in this settlement. Um, but that's good for now. Royal prince. Let's go ahead and fast march Prepare our army down move. south. Golden prince. We have four turns of instability. Um, and we're gonna march him over I'll here. Prove myself worthy. On my way. So while I focus on the south, I think I kind of want to try to get a non-aggression pack with for somebody. Glory. In the name of duty. So let's look around here at the other factions. Death to my enemies. Hmm. Diplomacy screen kind of sucks. Not not a huge. The fire of Nubia. Fan I'm of sure it. we can find something to egg. Yeah, whatever. We'll just kind of chill here. Um, they might attack us if we do something crazy, but. Um, I think that's good enough for our start of the uh, rightful heir of our opening, Egypt. our opening moves. So with that, I'm Cosmere. Hope you guys enjoyed. I've been Sean, the Blue Screeners. We're gonna have some more Total War Pharaoh on on the uh, the channel at least. We'll do this one campaign. Depending on how it does, we might do others. And if not Total War Pharaoh, maybe we'll we'll visit Warhammer Three, which I also love to play. So yeah, hope you guys would like the series, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Later.